This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a paper jam error message on your computer and the attention light blinks on the printer. This step will show you how to clear a jam from the print cartridge area. First, remove any loose paper from the output bin, main input tray, and the slot located just above the main input tray called the priority feed slot. Turn to the back. Press the power switch to turn off the printer. Unplug the power cord and wait for the printer to cool. Return to the front. Open the print cartridge door. Look inside the printer for the print cartridge. Using the handle in the middle of the cartridge, remove the cartridge from the printer. Using both hands, grab the edge of the paper that is most exposed and pull evenly to avoid tearing. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Once all paper is removed, you can reinsert the cartridge back into the printer. Close the print cartridge door. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Adjust the paper width guide until it stops at the edge of the paper. Repeat for the paper length guide as well. Do not push either guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Press retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes the printer needs to be reset to clear the paper jam error. Reset the printer by going to the back of the printer and pressing the power switch to turn it off. Once the printer is off, wait 30 seconds and then press the power switch to turn it back on. Press retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper, or the way it's loaded, can cause paper to get jammed. First, slide the paper length and width guides to their outmost positions. Gather the stack of paper you are trying to print on so that you can examine it. Remove any damaged paper you find. This includes any wrinkled, ripped, or curled sheets of paper. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets of paper in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Adjust the paper width guide until it stops at the edge of the paper. Repeat for the paper length guide as well. Do not push either guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Press retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you're trying to use. On your computer, open a document in the program you're printing from. Click File, click Print, and then click Properties. When the Properties dialog box opens, make sure that you are on the Paper slash Quality tab. Find the Size Is drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper size. Find the Type Is drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK, and click OK again to print the document. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. During the printing process, paper, toner, and dust particles can accumulate inside the printer and cause paper jams. In this step, we will clean the printer. First, remove any loose paper from the output bin, main input tray, and the slot located just above the main input tray, called the priority feed slot. Turn to the back. Press the power switch to turn off the printer. Unplug the power cord and wait for the printer to cool. Return to the front. Open the print cartridge door. Look inside the printer for the print cartridge. Using the handle in the middle of the cartridge, 
lifts straight out to remove the cartridge from the printer. Set the cartridge on a flat surface and then cover it with a sheet of paper. By covering the cartridge, you minimize its exposure to direct light, which may cause damage to the cartridge. Gather a dry, lint-free cloth to clean the inside of the printer. Using the cloth, wipe down any residue from the paper path area and the cartridge cavity. When cleaning the printer, be careful not to touch the black sponge transfer roller. By touching the transfer roller, you can damage the printer. Once you are done cleaning the paper path area and cartridge cavity, you can reinstall the cartridge. Close the print cartridge door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Press the power switch to turn on the printer. Return to the front. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Adjust the paper width guide until it stops at the edge of the paper. Repeat for the paper length guide as well. Do not push either guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Press retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.